Okay. Is everybody in or is there anyone who is here to come? This is. Is everybody in? Did all the students who were present in the previous session, did all of them join the session or should we wait? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim We have started critical discourse analysis fine uh, let me provide you within a minute let me provide you a brief overview of what we have discussed so far in the previous two lectures okay we have started critical discourse analysis okay and uh, we have talked about certain definitional considerations of cda the principles of cda and the aims of cda so these were some of the definitions which we have discussed then the principles of cda and the aims of critical discourse analysis these were the examples which we discussed in the previous session if you remember fine today we are going to talk about the model of cda proposed by norman fairclough fine that model is called the 3d model 3d 3D means three-dimensional. 3D, you must be aware, uh, familiar with the term 3D. Okay, yes, 2D sir. in 3D. Now, the three-dimensional model proposed by uh, Norman Fairclough. Uh, let me tell you simply that Fairclough is among those people who has, you know, contributed the most to the field of critical discourse analysis. The aims of CDA, uh, sorry, the, the principles of CDA, they were also proposed by Norman Fitclough. I'm going to share the research paper immediately after this class with you, fine. That research paper contains the principles and uh, the model which we are going to discuss today. So uh, this is called a three-dimensional model. Uh, here is a graphical representation of the model proposed by Norman Fairclough. Now, why is it called the three-dimensional model? Because it looks at the language from three dimensions. Or we should better say that it analyzes the language from three different dimensions. Yes, sir, Ali is with us. Fine. So, uh, with this model analyzes language discourse from three dimensions. Dimension number one, text. Dimension number two, discourse practice. And dimension number three, sociocultural practice. These are the three dimensions. This is the micro level, fine. And then this one is the broader one. And then this one is the product. Find like the most broad level is there. Now, what is this model all about? And how do we analyze discourses with the help of this uh, three-dimensional model proposed by Norman Fairclough? First of all, we have the textual, uh, the, 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 you may say the, the textual layer, okay? Or the textual dimension. Now, if you remember these three points, let me get back you to the definitions. Description, interpretation, and explanation. These three things. You may simply relate these three points to these three dimensions of the model. Here we have description of the text, fine. Then here we have explanation of the text, this uh, dimension. Uh, if you can see this uh, bigger rectangle, fine. And this one, the largest one, this is in the explanation of the text, fine. Uh, let me show you another thing. The macro analysis of text using various tools of linguistics, semiotics, and literary analysis. Clear? If you remember when we were discussing this definition. 
So this, the very first dimension, the very first layer of the model deals with the macro analysis of the text. Fine. The macro analysis of the text means that the macro analysis of the various linguistic tools, the various semiotic tools, and the various literary analysis, the literary figures. Fine. The literary features. So uh, let's begin uh discussing these three points one by one when we take a text for analysis using this theory the model proposed by norman fairclough now what do we do there is some noise i don't know where is it coming from uh, could you please turn off your microphones and when you have some question you may raise your hand or you may unmute your microphone and you may start uh you know posing your question but kindly uh, keep your microphones and cameras turned off. Fine. Now, when we start analyzing a text, first of all, we go for the textual analysis. Okay? Which is, that is what we call description. We describe the text. We describe the language itself. Fine. Language can be um uh, it can be purely textual like um uh, it can be you know purely linguistics it can be it, it may include some semiotic features as well just as we discuss in these examples if you remember fine so in the textual analysis in in, in this first dimension in the micro dimension we <coughs> we we just describe the language we just describe the text text means the thing the language which the discourse which we are analyzing like this is the text fine semiotic text fine again here we have some semiotic features as well as we have some linguistic features and some literary devices as well fine so we first of all look at the linguistic features the semiotic features and the literary features of the text itself and we just describe them that what is there what's what kind of uh, you know uh, what what kind of parts of speech have been used what kind of words what kind of verbs what kind of nouns pronouns adjectives etc have been used fine well is there any code switching is there any uh, instance of uh, turn taking in turn allocation is there any instance of uh, for example, error and repair, is there any instance of uh, the insertion sequences? Fine. Multiple theories are there. It depends upon the theory we are using. So we go for the uh, textual analysis first. Fine. And in the textual analysis, our focus is on the text, text on the language itself, the various uh, linguistic features of the language, and the various semiotic features of the language, such as colors. Fine uh parallelism we have uh the, you know the font size the shape each and everything included so the very first dimension that is the textual analysis then in the second step what do we do we describe the text sorry we interpret the text fine and that is what we call the discourse practice here in discourse practice we take into consideration the discourse producers and the discourse consumers. Now, what is meant by discourse producer and discourse consumer? Let's talk about goods, first of all, like uh, the, the producers of laptops, for example, or the producers of sugar or smartphones or anything, fine. So we have the, uh, the, the producers of goods. In the same way, we have the consumers of goods. Like we buy laptops, we buy smartphones, we buy sugar. So we are the consumers of those goods. Fine, those products. In the same way, this course also has got producers and it, are, it also has got consumers. The people who are producing discourses, they are called the discourse producers. Like we look at the speeches of Imran Khan, he is a discourse producer. Donald Trump, fine, Virginia Woolf, you must have uh, studied uh, her, uh, you know, uh, that novel, To the Lighthouse, in your previous semester. So, 
we are the discourse producers fine then the discourse consumers are the target audience like we are reading the novels so we are the discourse consumers we listen to them uh, you know we watch the television uh, news we are the discourse consumers we read newspapers so the people who write the newspapers they are the discourse producers and we are the discourse consumers now what do we do here in uh, this second phase there is some messages in uh, i live in palestine i have network problem and cannot hear to sir properly uh, okay uh, uh Faisal, don't worry i'll share the video with you okay stay focused fine just be with us and i'll share the video as well as the audio with you fine so uh then uh, okay we come to the second point the second dimension of the model that is discourse predictors so what do we do here this is what we call the processing analysis fine we interpret the text from the perspective of the producer and keeping in view the producer of the discourse and the consumer of the discourse fine who is the discourse producer why is he using these things who is the discourse consumer fine what will be the effect of this discourse on the consumer discourse consumer fine so that is the second layer of the analysis then coming to the last one the socio-cultural practice here this step is called the explanation of the discourse because here we explain the discourse keeping in view the socio-culture context the socio-political context the socio-economic conditions in which the discourse is being produced fine so we take the text first of all we look at its uh, we look at its uh, linguistic features semiotic features and literary features then we relate it to the second step fine to the interpretation and we you know relate it to the discourse producer and discourse consumer that how he has produced this discourse why has he or she produced that discourse for whom has this discourse been produced and then we look at the at, at, in the pen, at the final stage we look at the socio culture environment situation context in which that text has been produced fine and only then we we reach you know certain definite conclusion that what is the hidden agenda of this text of this discourse how is this text used to control the minds of the people what kind of ideology is being inculcated with the help of this discourse in the mind of the discourse consumers fine so uh, now let's have some examples again i'll come to this example fine uh, kashmir premium gold it might be new for those people who are joining us uh, for the first time and for those students who were present in the previous lecture uh, we, but they, are, they are already familiar with this example look at them uh, first of all the linguistic features fine purple me bus up here that is a chunk line okay now look at the these features Salha Sal ki maharat ke liye. Okay, Salha Sal ki maharat liye. It means they are talking about their experience. Kashmir Prime, uh, Kashmir Premium Gold Cooking Oil. Now, Sophie said pure. Now look at the word Sophie said pure. Look at this adjective, fine, and adverb. Sophie said, look at this quantification, this statistical, uh, you know, a feature. Uh, look at this uh, light cholesterol free oil cholesterol free oil then life rice at man in active okay now look at the colors dark yellow then light yellow fine the direction of the eyes i'm, I'm not talking i'm not discussing uh, this uh, uh, advertisement from feminist perspective today i'm just discussing it from the perspective of discourse producers and discourse consumers now look at this again the the another semiotic feature the color is different here if you can see and it is explicitly visible it's different from the rest of the uh, page the rest of the advertisement again they have written here 
uh, in a large pound 100% pure kidney oil. Now, uh, this is the, uh, the textual analysis, the very first dimension of the model. If you look at the second dimension, discourse producer and discourse consumers, so what can be the possible effect? Or simply who are the discourse producers? They are, you know, the, the sellers of this cooking oil, okay, and the discourse consumers, the us, simply. We are the discourse consumers. We are consuming this discourse, fine? Now, when we, when we come across these things repeatedly on the screen of TV, okay, or on tele, uh, on, you know, on the pages of newspaper and magazines, what do we what is what is the effect of such kind of advertisement on our mind because we have already talked about mental control if you can see here mental control to uncover the discursive control. means of mental control that how are the minds of people controlled with their thoughts uh discourse fine now um, the social culture practices look at this the the present socio culture era okay Nowadays, we are living in uh, the post postmodern world in an era in a world which is, you know, which is full of diseases. We have so many diseases, new, new diseases, you know, uh, being uh, investigated day by day. Fine. So, look at the word cholesterol free oil. Cholesterol free oil. Fine. Sehat month inactive. Now, when uh, there is a person or people like all of uh, all of us, we are very much you know conscious about our health nowadays. Fine. Now, when we come across such sort of terms, such sort of words like cholesterol, free oil, life, rahisiyat, month, and active, so obviously our mind is controlled over there. Fine. Our mind is attracted. Okay. Our attention is drawn toward this particular cooking oil. Fine. Then. Uh, if you look at this modern era again, Temur Sahida Ror Khairdekha, we can see your seat. Fine. Uh, look at the gentleman again, looks like an office boy or uh, maybe uh, some officer or the hands are clean, so I do not, I cannot say that he is a teacher, uh, but maybe he is a teacher or some, anyhow, he is an official person. So if you look at the, uh, the semiotic features as well, again, these things draw our attention towards this cooking oil. So the moment we saw such kind of advertisement on a page of uh, a newspaper or magazine, because I took it from a magazine, fine. So our attention is brought towards this cooking oil and our mind is controlled and we are made to buy the product, fine. This is what all the people of advertisement do. Let me search for some uh, videos. I had uh, some videos for such kind of uh, analysis. Okay. Fine. So uh, this is a, a three dimensional model proposed by Norman Fierclough. Is it clear to you or do you have any confusion? Any question or confusion? No, sir. Nothing at all? No, sir. Yeah, it's clear. clear. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yes, uh, sir, sometimes the voice is open, sir, sir. So we, we missed the uh, main thing, sir. You missed the main point, so you should have asked at that time. You know how, which point did you miss? Sir, uh, sir, the voice is echoing, sir. Uh, it is uh, echoing, sir, continuously. Sir. Uh, is uh, all of you are facing the very same problem? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, yes, sir, there might be some connection problem on your side, if I'm not wrong. You know how... Uh, I'm Maybe, sir. Okay, I, I, I'll share these videos with you. Fine? Yes, sir, sir. It will be okay, sir. Okay. Okay.
سر جی جی دی خوراک تو والا چی ہوگی بو بابی تو یا دا پخ کی کنا سر جی سو یا Actually, fine. Uh, I'll share the clip with you. Fine. Let me listen to it and let you know if what is there in the audio in the uh, advertisement and how can we analyze it. Fine. Okay, sir. Are you okay, with sir. me? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Now, uh, look at this. Uh, look at this advertisement. Can you let me change the voice? Fine. Can you see the video now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Let's analyze it. Now, uh, do you have a diary with you or a notebook and pen in your hand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, kindly uh, note it down. Fine. Here she says, Sab kete hai, Priyanka badal gai. Write it down. Sab kete hai, Priyanka badal gai. सच ही तो है सच ही तो है सिल्क के बालों से खूबसूरत है हर पल राइट इट डाउन Done. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. मजबूत बालों ने दी हिम्मत दुनिया से लड़ने की इस इस वीडियो ने इस खूबसूरती ने दिया विश्वास कैन यू राइट दिस थिंग्स डाउन क्विकली सो दैट वी मे डिस्कस सो द क्रीम ने करा चिम पूरी अह इट्स कुकिंग ऑयल सॉरी नॉट कुकिंग ऑयल हियर ऑयल हियर ऑयल लेट मी शेयर द वीडियो ओके डन सो फार यस सर लास्ट लाइन क्या था um, इस खूबसूरत ने दिया विश्वास सर द विश्वास संग लिख रहे कि भरोसा ठीक क्या करना यकीन नहीं सकता ओके फाइन इस खूबसूरत ने दिया विश्वास आसमान चू लेने का ओके दिस इज बेट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ऐसे ऐसे बालों के लिए परसों का ऐसे बालों के लिए परसों का लिम प्लेट अंडर फोन आई ट्रांसफर इट टू माई स्मार्ट माई स्मार्टफोन सर ये तो आपने पूरा कमर्शियल लिख लिया है Is it audible now? Yes. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, uh, let me play the voice on the phone and uh, the video on here on the screen. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Priyanka, tell me. fine now uh, if you look at the various linguistic features used in the advertisement if you have written over there fine uh, can you tell me what were the features the linguistic features g tell me the linguistic features which you noted down g Are you there? Textual analysis, yes, sir. Export practice. Yes, there were samples, sir. irony. Fine. Now the 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 points which you noted down from the advertisement, okay, from that TV commercial. Yes. Oh. Asli balu ne dia, vishwas, asma ko chhu lene ka. Fine. Now look at the textual analysis. Asli balu ne dia. ऐसी खूबसूरती ने दिया विश्वास आसमान को हिम्मत दुनिया से लड़ने का फाइन नाउ लुक एट द वर्ड हिम्मत फाइन लुक एट द वर्ड विश्वास फाइन नाउ देयर वाज इफ यू रिमेंबर देयर वाज अ स्लिप ऑफ द टंग दैट वाज डिलीवरेट ऐसे बालों के लिए बरसों का नहीं सॉरी सरसों का फाइन so like initially they she made a mistake a deliberate slip of the tongue fine and then uh, she repeated that error 
Fine, let me play it again. Fine. So she makes a deliberate mistake, okay? And then she says, sorry, Sir Sumka. Now, if you look at this, this, this textual picture of features and we describe them, so she, she uh, you know, mentions the name, Priyanka, fine. Uh, if you look at the, the, the multimodal features, the semiotic features, so uh, the word beauty, fine, has been used, fine, or, or forget about the, the, the multimodal features, the semiotic features, just if you focus on the language itself. So she talks about beauty, fine, she talks about hair, fine, she uh, talks about uh, vishwas, fine, himmat dunya ko chulene ka, dunya se lanne ka, fine, and at the end she makes a, a mistake, that a deliberate mistake, fine, bursun ka nahi, sursun ka. Now, if we look at the consumers and the uh, producers of the, the discourse, who are the producers that, you know, beauty product company, fine, uh, uh, I think that is Dabra Amla, Dabra Amla hair oil, and we are the consumers. Fine. Dabra. Yes, if we relate it to the socio-cultural practices, fine. Look at the world Vishwas. Look at the world Dunya Kuchulineka. Okay. Now it it means like we actually inculcate in our mind, they shape our mind in such a way that we start believing that if we have got, uh, you know, silky hair like her. Only then we will have the strength to fight the world. Fine. Only then we will have the strength to touch the sky. When if we do not have hair like her, particularly ladies, they won't be able. They they will they will not have the strength. They will not have the power to touch the sky. They will not have the power to, to you know to fight the world. Fine. Now, the, yes. if, you, if you look at the uh, that conversational error. If you look at that deliberate conversational error, fine. Uh, now, if you look at the socio-cultural practices, so we, this is, you know, the, the modern world, in the modern world, we usually go for the latest things, for the latest products. Because they are the latest, they are the most modern worlds, they are, you know, technologically, they are the, more, uh, the most advanced. Fine. So, Bursunka, uh, now this deliberate mistake, it means that this Dabra uh, Amla hair oil, this is not something old. Fine. It, it is being created with the help of the latest technology and it contains all the latest and modern ingredients. Fine. So, this is how if we analyze the text by uh, looking at the textual features, then relating it to the discourse producers and consumers, and finally, uh, finally explaining those features, linguistic or semiotic features, keeping in view the socio-economic, socio-cultural or socio-political in case of political discourse, uh, these practices. So we will come to know that how are the minds of people controlled with the help of language, with the help of discourse. This was a very simple example in the forthcoming yes. lectures, inshallah, we'll be talking about the speech of Imran Khan, which we had, which he had delivered in the UN General Assembly. Fine, mm -hmm. and we will be talking about some other examples as well, uh, using this theory, this uh, model of normal field. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you yes, have sir. any question or yes, suggestion, sir. you may kindly ask. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, pragmatic meaning is that I should end the meeting, Arbab. Okay. G. <laughs> Nayab, Arbab, Adil, any question? No, sir. No, Mer sir. Merun, Nisa. It's okay, sir. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. it's fine, sir. But, sir, please share the video, sir. Yeah, I'll share the video with you. Nilma, Hamza, Ifat, Javiria, Nimra, uh, Shafi, sir. sir. Excuse me. G. So in the second one, second one dimension, like uh, when we interpret the uh, producer, discourse producer, so how we will um, interpret consumers? Like we see the, um, for the meaning of reader. We, we do not interpret the consumer or the uh, producer, fine. We, here we describe the text, here we interpret the text itself, not the producer or consumer, but we interpret the text keeping in view the discourse producer and the discourse consumer.
Fine. Our our job is to interpret the text itself. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Any other question? Okay. Uh, sir, please share the previous previous class lecture. Okay, I'll share that lecture as well. The video. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So lazy. Stay home. Stay safe. Allah peace. Love, 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 love. 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 love.